Figures TV. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're taking a look at Monster High, Ultimate Roller Maze, and we're taking a look at Abby Abominable. So let's take a look at Abby from well, Monster High, Ultimate Roller Maze. So here we are taking a look at Monster High. It's called to make Roller Maze, and today we're taking a look at Abby Bomberball. And she's made by Mattel in 2012. So, Abby is a part of the It's called to make Roller Maze series. And as you can probably see, she comes in this standard uh, window box packaging similar to Frankenstein and Laguna Blue, which are the previous two we looked at. So, Abby's our third um, school to make roller maze uh, doll. So, uh, Abby is also another favorite of mine from the Monster High series. And this is her in the school to make roller maze outfit. So, as you can see, the packaging is pretty much similar. Um, you got a nice picture of Abby there. Also, you got roller skate there as well, Abby's name. Abby uh, Abominable, Monster High logo, got the Skelet there, also the Monster High logo. Yeah. Similar design to all the others underneath, and also on the top is uh, tape and stuff. Take a look at the back, also it says here games sold separately, available now. Which is the Monster High uh, Skull to Make Roller Maze, which is out for the Wii, the DS, and the 3DS as well. I have uh, both uh, the Wii and the 3DS versions, but I haven't played the 3DS version yet. I want to play the Wii version, which I think is fantastic. You can go to uh, monsterhigh.com. Also, it says Monster High up here. A nice beautiful photo of uh, Abby. Also available in the line we've got Operetta, Claudine Wolf, Frankenstein, Abby, Abominable, and Laguna Blue. And like I pr said previously, um, in both Frankie and Lagunas, Dracula is um, missing from the uh, line. I don't know why. But anyway, I just thought I might mention it again. So, read up for Abby. It says here, Abby Bonnable, daughter of the Yeti. So it says Yeti up here. No, yeah, daughter of the Yeti. So, anyway, um, that's the packaging. Pretty much similar to the yours. No. So let's actually get Abby Bonnable opened up. And let's have a look at her. And just like all the other ones, they all come with display stands. And these do not come with uh, hair combs. Just wanted to warn you that they don't. Uh, pretty much most of the other ones do, the basic ones and stuff like that. And also the 13 wishes ones that come with them. So let's actually open this up. Okay, we've got some tape here, which is uh, no problem at all. Yeah. Sometimes there is tape on uh, on the boxes. Sometimes there isn't. It just depends uh, on which character you have. And that just opened up really easily, which is good. Uh, so with that we opened up very easy there. Alright, um, let's pull this out just like the others. Uh, the other ones have like tabs inside the packaging, 
um, holding the inner tray uh, in and the school tip mate, roll mate ones don't um, which is different so here's Abby in that uh, tray you can probably see we've got a instruction manual it's only like a two part instructions as you can see there uh, it's kind of showing Laguna because of the uh, the fins there and on the other side it shows you how to uh, do the helmet and stuff like that okay so I'm going to get everything out first off I'm going to get the this piece out here which is easy and this is the stand so it won't take me very long to uh, Get everything out. I've got the stand piece. Yep. And just like the others, the stand is green, as you can probably see. Yeah, it's green. Got the Monster High logo there. Also on the back, pretty cool. And it is pretty easy to uh, put together. You just uh, line the tab here to the slot. There, just line that up. And there you go, that's the stand. And then you can slip that whole thing over top there later on. So, first off, let's actually get uh, the accessories out. Um, also, Abby does include a helmet and roller skates stuff so it's at least that we can get the roller skates out. This might be a short review um because I know these are quite long sometimes but let's just uh, get things in quickly. So that's the four roller blade. There, just do that there. Try to on the tab things. tabs to actually connect it as well. Let's actually get Abby out of the packaging. Okay, so this won't take very long, hopefully it won't. That's that. And uh, what we got here we got these twist ties again. Right around the hands. Yeah, there's quite a lot of twist ties here and there. It's got very long uh, fingernails. Just about to mention that. And so, uh, trying to. Get these elastics. I think Abby's probably one of the easiest ones. Um, to get out, I think. Free. 
so I have one few things here to uh, take out if you excuse me for a few minutes. Because there's actually tabs at the back of her head. And there's three of them. that. Um, like I said, there's actually tabs at the back of the, her hair. It's easy with uh, that. So there's a tie around her neck. I don't know why though. Okay, here's Abby. I don't know if she has her necklace. Could be a certain way. If I put it on the right way in that. Okay, I haven't. If I put it on the wrong way. Yep. 
I put it on the wrong way. Sorry, it just depends on which way it goes. There we go. I think I got it, I think. Okay. So far, we got different uh, plastic things holding the pad. Uh, That one. Alright. So here's Abby. I think um, her hair is really, really much better because you don't need a comb for it. It's very sticky. Well, not sticky, but just uh, kind of like hard. Um, so, her skin is very nice and shiny and it's like got like snowflakes within the color there. Her outfit's really nice, you can probably see. It's actually, uh, <clears throat> move these other things out of the way. Sure, I've got everything removed. Okay, here's the uh, the card. I'm just gonna put that down here. This is the thing. So here's Abby, Obama, um, Abby Barmerville's. Uh, Card, as you can see, looks pretty cool. And also, on here we've got uh, so Gooley is missing on here. We've got Offeretta, Frankie Stein, Abby, and Laguna. There, you can probably see. Uh, what's name is missing on this card here? Gulia Yelps, which she is a part of the line as well. So as you can probably see, uh, pretty nice, um, nothing to it. Okay, so that's that. Now for the roller skates. Now her roller skates have got a really nice um, icy design, with, like the frost in here, rather like thing. So the green, uh, the wheels are green and black. So it's black at the front, green at the back, green at the front, and black at the back. And you've got kind of a ice effect going on here, and they are pink and soft. So let's actually wind these up. that. Can I always line them up so I can get them to be like either left or right. So I'm actually going to use this one and I'm going to put this on Abby. So they're really nice and uh, soft and rubber. I 
down and don't seem to be uh, wanting to go on. Um, hmm. Let's, let's try the one. Maybe I've got the power loose on the wrong way. No, not really. I think that one should go in the old one. Not as easy as the uh, others. She was easy to get out, but not as easy to put her uh, roller skates on. Let me see here. Um, that um, yeah really I'm gonna scroll here to get them on oh, this is the thing saying left or right um, I know it says on the feet but Don't okay, so look too bad. Um, uh, get that one down. Um, so that's how roll escapes. That. So her articulation, she has a ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, and the arms don't get in the way of the outfit, ball jointed wrists, swirl in the elbows, no waist articulation, she has Articulation in the leg, go left and right, knee joint, no ankle joints, unfortunately. And same with the other one, same with the other leg. Our outfit's very nice, very detailed. Kind of right now, like this. Kind of wants to be up there quite a lot. Gonna bring that down there like that. All right, let's actually uh, get Abby's uh, helmet on. Just wondering if she can stand up. Not with that, the stand I suppose. Okay, so putting the helmet on, it's showing you this way. it's this way the helmet goes um, so the helmet will go on this way and it just tabs in just like so and the same with the other tab that one also tabs in like that and they're like snowflakes as you can see the snowflake there design and it's like design like an igloo um, like ice and stuff like that. Pretty nice uh, design. 
stuff. So pretty much, um, Ab is the best one uh, because of her hair. Um, it doesn't actually go all over the place like the others. Um, she's actually the best one to get out of the packaging very easily. Um, and that so pretty much Abby looks really good. Um, the design of the outfit and stuff like that. So let's actually get her um, together. Let's put the, this away. Review has really been really short. Okay, that's that. Let's see if we can get Abby on the stand. And if you probably not noticed, uh, the roller skates are actually uh, on a thing. Um, not the roller skates. The the skulls on the knee pads. And notice. Just gonna pull this dress down there. And if you notice that her hair is actually shorter than um, probably her previous versions. And that's I'm gonna dress down like that. Is actually one of my favorites. Um, okay, that's that. So there you go. That's how you um, put together Abby in the uh, sculpted May roller maze. All right. So let's actually take a look at her. Um, she looks really good. Um, She's pretty much one of the easiest ones to work with. Uh, I'm just going to proceed. Yeah. Kind of want to move her head. Yeah. So yeah, the outfit's really nice. Um, really nicely detailed. Uh, comes with a display stand. Um, the roller skates are quite... Uh, well, they are easy to put on, it's just they're quite stiff, just to slide in. Um, but once you actually get the roller skates in there, they're, they're fine. So, yeah. Overall, she's perfect in every way with the articulation and that, so... i uh, got no uh, problems with Abby. And that, so... Kind of just posing her like that, like she's got a hand up saying hi and... She's got a hand on her thing there. And her nails are really like, um, you know, like length, as you can probably see. Uh, like claws and stuff. Um, so yeah, there you go, that's uh, Abby. Um, the beautiful detail on her outfit's nice. And then I love the pink on the elbow pads and also on her necklace. The necklace is kind of supposed to be... Uh, a blue. Um, I don't know why they went with a pink uh, diamond necklace. I don't know why. But overall, um, it looks pretty good. And her helmet is kind of like a deep uh, blue. They kind of similar blue to uh, Frankenstein's. Um, and that. So. Let's actually go into my final thoughts, because uh, this is quite short. And then we'll put her in the cabinet. Um, there'll be a display video on her. So Yeah, this has been really, really short. Um, didn't take me that long to get her out of the packaging, and obviously there were tabs, um, or tags. I usually say tabs most times. Um, there's tags to... Um, you know, within her back of her head, which is standard for uh, pretty much most of the Monster High um, series. So, 
Let's eventually go with our final thoughts on her. She's definitely one of my favourites. Um, besides uh, all the others. And it's just a shame that Draculaura is not on the packaging. Um, she's actually present on on the game packaging and everywhere. And I, I just don't understand why she's not um, part of the wave. Unless she is, I don't know. Um, hmm. so, is there something holding this thing back? No, that's it. Okay. I thought it was something that was holding me back during that. I think uh, all these little tiny pieces stuff. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put these in instruction manuals while this instruction manual away. Which, obviously, this is it. This is the instruction manual. I'm just going to put it away here. Basically, Abby is one of the easiest ones to work with. Um, I'm just going to say that she is one of the easiest ones to get open. Um, regarding her package thing, and even though it does have tapes, uh, the tab is very easy to um, pull out and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go to my final thoughts for Abby Bombable. So, yep, here we are, our final thoughts on uh, Abby Bombable. I say A Bombable. Um, Abby, bombable, yeah, just three, four times. Um, yeah, Monster High, Skull Tip, May, Roller Maze, Abby, bombable, um, she is fantastic. The articulation is just similar to the previous uh, ones I looked at, and they're pretty much standard uh, with the elbow articulation, the head articulation, the wrist articulation. Um, knee articulation as well as leg articulation. Um, no waist articulation is standard and also uh, ankle articulation as well. So it comes with a green display stand so it matches the uh, previous ones uh, which I've already looked at which are Frankenstein and Laguna Blue. If you're a big fan of Abby Bombable from Monster High uh, Sculpted Mate Roller Maze. This is her in her Roller Maze outfit that she wore in the Friday Night Frights, which is a double feature with um, Why Do Girls Fall in Love? Um, but anyway, overall, Abby is one of my favourites uh, from the Monster High series, and I can't wait to find her in the 13 Wishes line if, if I ever do come across her. But overall, I'm glad to have her a part of my collection and I definitely highly recommend picking her up. She's one of the easiest ones to get out of the packaging. Um, she doesn't come with that many accessories other than the roller skates and the helmet. It's pretty standard for the Sculpted Mate Roller Maze ones. But overall, she's perfect. Um, there is a few nitpicks here and there with the necklace being uh, Pink. I don't understand that, and it should have been like a ice blue, I think. Uh, but overall, um, you know, pink necklace, <laughs> pretty cute. Uh, so is Abby. So um, yeah, really, definitely look out for Abby if you find her. Definitely pick her up and add her to your collection. Uh, she is poseable, as you can probably see. And she does come with a display stand, and I just want to mention the display stands vary between all different lines in the Monster High series. Um, from 13 Wishers, they come with hairbrushes and display, sta display stands. Um, but overall, just a perfect uh, figure. I uh, can't see anything wrong with her at all. Um, but overall, Really nice design to the outfit, and this is the one that she wore in the Friday Night Frights movie, and in the 
once the high school kit mate rolling mate uh we game so yes she was available to play in the in the game as well so anyway until then uh, thank you so much to everybody for watching like always you can please post a comment below tell me what you think of the video game and also the movie if you've seen it which is Friday Night Frights which is a part of a double feature on DVD um, also definitely check out all the previous uh, Monster High reviews on Cute Anime for Gus TV and I'll see you guys very soon until then until next time take care I highly recommend picking up Abby she's definitely one of the best in the uh, Scottish Mate Royal Maze ones and she's definitely a favourite of mine amongst Frankie and uh, Laguna so I uh, can't wait to find Claudine at some point but anyway until then take care everybody and here's a really nice display video showcasing Abby on display next to Laguna and Frankie until then so here we are with Abby Bamobo from Monster High. Sculpted Mate Roller Maze and she looks great on display and as you can probably see all of the display stands match. They're all in green and all of the 13 Wishes ones are in black as you can see. They all match as well. So these are the outfits that they're in from the Sculpted Mate Roller Maze and Abby just fits in really well. Um, along with Frankie and Laguna so that's pretty much it um, on display I have Frankie from 13 Wishes also Draculaura and Claudine Wolf but overall definitely worth picking up um, she's one of the best ones out of the line and so are uh, Frankie and Laguna and that, definitely recommend them too as well as well as the 13 wishes ones because they come with hair brushes by the way and uh, yeah that's just about it uh, Abby fits in really well with all the others that I have and I can't wait to see more of these and till then thanks for watching everybody and I definitely highly recommend picking up Abby in the Skull Tip Mate Roller Maze line until then, I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. They all look very cute on display.